All right, pretty cool uh, video here. A lot of people are looking for this. It's how to automatically create folders in Work Drive from CRM, if you can do that. So this video also goes along with another video, and we'll show the, a little blurb up that'll pop up right now. It's a Work Drive widget that we've created that you can basically install quickly. So this, what we're going to do here, coincides with that one. So I would check that, and also at the end of the video, we're also going to put the card up to go to that um, video as well on YouTube and Rumble. Uh, so take a look at that. Uh, but what we're going to do here is we are simply going to create from a lead with a button. We're going to use some Deluge code to create a folder that is in WorkDrive representing this lead. And it's also, there's extra code in there too that says if there's a company name, great because you work business to business, company name, use the company name as the folder name. Or if there's no company because you're B2C, business to consumer, then just use the first and last name of that lead as the folder name. I mean, you can change it to whatever you want, but that's just what we did in this video to keep it simple. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go into Carissa here and take a look at that. By the way, there's also in the description below, there is a link to a more enhanced version of this lesson we're going to show right now, which is going to fully explain how to put this together yourself. And the thought is, there's the old saying of teaching people to fish so that they can fish on their own. And, and become more empowered, or there's giving people a fish. And so this video is more of a give you a fish because I'm going to give you the code for it. I'm going to walk you through a little bit of it and just give you so you can like go with it and it's free. Go for it. The other is the link below, which is the course that corresponds with this and goes deeper. It's 45 minutes long, but it goes into explaining the code and it also provides some additional aspects of it, which is automatically creating a, a deal folder under the customer folder we're going to create here and creating subfolders under that deal folder. So if you can think of the efficiencies you're going to have, and it explains how to do that and the code and what the deluge is, um, and that is on the zocademy.com website. Again, the link is below. The course has a, an investment itself, if you're just by the course one off, or you can become a member of, we call it the VIP, VIP membership, and we're adding more and more courses to that, and it's just included for free if you're a member of the VIP membership. So take a look at that. All right, back to this. So what we're going to do is you need to add a field to whatever module you're going to add this to. You want to folders. So you're going to add this, this field here, work drive URL. And if you're going to use the work drive widget, which by the way is this, if you see this piece down here, this is embedded as a related list and it's a widget that creates, it basically says, what is the link above for work drive widget? You don't have to click on that link to open work drive as a tab. It's embedded in the record, which is huge. People love this. Anyways, so to do that, you need specifically this writing of it. So capital W work, capital D drive space URL in all caps. That's important. Okay, so we've got a button up here. So we're going to create this button. We're going to do it for a lead right now. You go to the course on zocademy.com to get the deals part of it and all that. Um, so let's go in here. We're going to take a look at this. So functions, uh, this deal folder in work drive, that is in the course that you can on zocademy.com. Uh, here is creating the lead company folder. The way this looks in work drive is we have a customer folder we've created. We basically just added a team folder labeled customers. So you can see those are the list of uh, customers. If I click on quick copy, you'll see there's the deals that we added. And then here's a, an example of the subfolders. Again, that's on the course that's on zocademy.com. Um, but just high level, creating a customer folder based on the lead through a button. This code here is what does that. So you can see here's where it's deciding is, is there a company referenced in the record? If there is, then the folder name is going to be the company name. Or if not, then it's going to be the first name and the last name. That's the drive. So if you look at customers here, you can see here like Kaylee Lace. That was a person. Um, I thought there was another one, but I guess that's it. So Kaylee Lace was, there was no company with her. So it just used her first name, last name. Okay. Very important here. This bunch of Greek gibberish is an ID of this customer's folder. So in yours, when you go to create that team folder, it's going to have a unique identifier. So if I click on customers and you look at the URL, this is work drive. Basically, that's what the ID is. This is teams, like the, the header of team folders. And then this one here 
is the actual folder that represents customers. And the way you can tell that, you know, just look at it, is it ends in FD69. And in functions, that ends in FD69. So that's all you need is just, just this piece of the URL and plug it in here. The other thing you'll need is a connection. So work drive. So where do we get that? Okay, you go into settings, connections. Let me refresh the page. Okay, and create a connection. So you can see there's a bunch of things you can choose from. You can just search here and put in work and you'll see work drive as an option that shows up. And then you pick what your scopes are, you name it. Uh, so we've already done that. And that is this work drive right here. But you can see the scope that you need is just work drive files all. Uh, we were messing around with doing team folders, but we decided not to do that. But those scopes are not necessary. It's really just this one is all we need. Uh, just call it work drive, just so you can copy and paste our code, make it easy for you. And that's work drive right there once you create that connection. And then what happens when it creates that folder, it's going to come back with some data. Uh, you won't see it, but it'll just be the computer talking to computers. What you're going to grab is the permalink from that new folder that was created. And we're going to include it in that special field, the work drive URL field. You can see here. And that's what this does. This updates that lead record from the ID that you're passing. And then it give you a little note that says the folder has been created. Okay, so let's go over and create the button now. So we go into customization, modules and fields, leads. Up here is buttons. And you can see we already created it right here. So you can see we just called it whatever we want. I said create work drive folder. Maybe that's easy. Uh, what's the layout? We only have one layout, which is standard. We're going to do it in the record. Uh, we're going to position it in the details. So you can see where it shows up is in this upper right. And then we're saying, hey, it's available to everybody. Okay. Then the define the action to be performed. When you're creating this, you're going to have a function that you're going to select. And then you're going to put in an ID. And let's see if I, I just show you this real quick. Leads, lead ID is what's going to show up there. So what happens, that's going to call that function we created called create lead company folder. It's going to pass over that lead ID, which then allows you to do the rest of the function. And that's really all there is to it. So I would say, uh, and so here's on a lead. If we look at Teresa and I say create work drive folder right now, you'll see there's no work drive folder. It says page not found and there's no work drive URL. So if I create work drive folder, that button plus that function creates this and says the folder was created. I click that, it refreshes the page and you can see it created that work drive folder Work drive here is now going to be, it's not going to say it's not found. It's just going to say it's more long associates. And I go to customers and you can see that that's been created. So again, uh, the card on the screen now is talking about uh, the work drive widget, which is that piece, again, that we're looking at right here. Go look at that video. It's a quick install. It'll have a link in the description that'll go to the Edkins Group website. You just put your name and your email address so we can email you the zip file. You install the zip file and we'll give you what the code is too that you put in what's called the quote unquote path. And then boom, any module that you want will show uh, the work drive as long as you have that other field for the work drive URL. So they kind of go along hand in hand. Um, again, I strongly recommend to become a member of the uh, Academy. We're going to continue adding more and more courses that are useful for people to help them learn how to fish, to empower you to learn about the different apps that Zoho has, and also how you can utilize those um, how you can customize them yourself and you don't need, really need consultants at that point. So that's the idea of it. Go check out that link. Get started today. We'd love to have you. All right. Hope that helps. Have a great day.